bit of my story. My father was born in Salford, England. As a young boy, went to school, lived through the war, ended up at sort of his graduation. They had the option of going into the British Army after the Second World War to re-bolster the ranks or to go work in a British colony in uh, around the world. And he ended up in Burma, in the city of Rangoon, where he met my mother. Um, long story short, they were married, they were looking for a country to live in, and they settled in Canada. And that's where my brother and I were born. I was born in 1961. And really, for the first many years, knew very little to nothing about any of our family. 20. 10, 2011, my father was not doing too well. And we kind of came aware of these caps and talked a little bit about them. But at that point, knew very little of the history. Uh, just that my great grandfather, Harry Eagles, played rugby and ended up on this really fantastic trip around the world to Australia and New Zealand. I believe from my grandfather, he passed along to my dad a family tree that he had just handwritten out that went all the way back, including uh, um, Harry Eagles. He kind of did the Jones side of the family and the Eagle side of the family. And I was able to take that information and start putting it into this ancestry.com and help populate our family tree and we started to piece things together and it was at that time that we started to realize that harry eagles was a significant individual in our family my wife came across the british lions website in in uh, july of 2020 and that added a little bit more interest really to the story that oh my goodness th this was a big deal it wasn't just sort of a oh you know a couple of guys got on a ship and they you know went over to australia new zealand to play rugby with a couple other teams over there this was a big deal So again, as we were looking into our family history, we came across uh, the, the website, British Lions and the Lions Capping Project and saw the, that there were commemorative caps being issued to players that played as well as players that had played. And we were, thought, well, gosh, well, Harry Eagles played and they had videos of the trip of the first British Lions going down uh, over to Australia. So we corresponded back and forth. She sent us the application for receiving the cap for Harry Eagles. And we submitted all the application and just kind of waited. And about a week ago, the cap showed up. And when we opened the box, it was just, it was stunning. Absolutely stunning. The, the colors, the presentation, the, the box itself, the letter that came with the box, personalized letter and it just made us very proud and very honored to receive this particular cap and to be part of that legacy, to be part of a family that had one of the original British lions go on a tour is just tremendous.